All right, man. Y'all boys who in them streets and 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 and, and, re and jobs that rely on street reputations, <laughs> y'all better stop talking shit to them YouTubers, man. What's wrong with y'all boys, man? <laughs> I heard my boy JD letting them get some exercise. Ain't nobody out here right now, so I can pretty much let them loose and let them run around. JD JD likes to play. Go get it, boy. I had to play fetch. Puppy, puppy. Good boy. Go get it, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Come on. See if he's gonna chase the ball. I ain't never seen him at a tennis ball yet. There you go. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Yes! Got a Seresto collar on for the fleas. Got to do a little trimming up right here, but it got a Seresto collar on. Come on, boy. Good boy! Good boy! Well, yeah, man. Let's go, JD. Get it, go get it. Got you want to hang out with the model wise, you gotta work. The model wise, let's go, boy. Get both of me. Good boy. He switched toys up, got the old one. Good boy. Go get it, boy. getting a little hot out here right now so and i know he getting tired but i'm gonna work him it's better than sitting on the chain ain't it ain't it boy come back out later on when it cool off got them carburetors over now the little small carburetors let's go boy get that puppy got them carburetors open get that puppy. Thank y'all for tuning back in. It's your boy Pelican Bay Kennels. Giving you that dope news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. You know, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button before you get up out of here. Don't forget to drop a comment. Rock with your boy because you know I'm rocking with you. I appreciate all the dog men, dog women from the north, south, east, and the west have been rocking with me so far. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna keep that dog news rolling. Let's get off in it. I right, shout out to all my people out there, man. Shout out to City Boy Kennels. Shout out to Welcome Out Kennels. Shout out to Provocative Bully. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to uh, all the people doing their Bulldog channels out there. But before I get onto my sample stories, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about one thing. And this could help anybody raising puppies, no matter what breed of puppies it is. It's basically called creating a super dog. It's the neurological stimulation of your dog or basically you know what I'm saying the um biosensor program for your dogs and it's a it's a study and a program used by the military 
and you know some police forces. What it does is basically is a certain certain process you put your puppy through at a certain age that you put your puppy through, and it makes your puppy a whole lot healthier and better dog later on when he's an adult dog. All right, the biosensor program is a couple easy steps, but it must be followed as you know as it says. All right. What this is going to do is going to increase your dog's heart rate when he gets grown. He'll have a stronger heart rate than he would have if he wouldn't have did it. He'll have a stronger immune system. Then if you do it, then if you wouldn't have did it, he would be um, more able to take more stress when you do this on any kind of breed. You know, it's a proven study, you know. So the first thing you want to do is, is five positions and five steps you do with your puppy. Okay, I'm not going to have one of my puppies up here, you know, because it's so many things with the camera and, you know, I need, it's not nothing I need to play with. When I, I, need, I need to sit down when I do this with my dogs so, you know, I can make sure that each one is getting the same thing. But this is what you do. It's five steps. The first step is you take your puppy, you hold him upright like this. You hold him upright with his head going up. That's step number one. You hold him for three to five seconds. Three to five seconds, listen to me clearly. Three to five seconds, you're holding them upright, just like this, okay? The next step, you take them and you hold them upside down. Three to five seconds. Three to five seconds now, and then you hold, straighten them back up. Straighten them back up no level. The next thing you do is, you hold them on his back for three to five seconds. Three to five seconds, and then you lift them back up, okay? Everything you did so far was three to five seconds. You did up front for three to five seconds, you did on the back for three to five seconds, and you did upside down for three to five seconds. When you hold him like this, with his head down like this for three to five seconds, okay? The next thing is, you hold a puppy, you get a Q-tip. You take one of his legs, one of his feet, you take that Q-tip, and you rub it in between his toes of one of his feet, just one. You rub it in between his toes, okay? After you do that, the last step is taking a cold, a cold rag or a cold dinner plate or something cold, you know, it could be a rag or a plate or a, a, a little metal plate or something, but it has to be cold, you know, a nice chill on it, and you sit the puppy on it for three to five seconds. You know, sometimes they're gonna walk off of it, you know, and, and sometimes they might stay on it. But you sit them on it for three to five seconds. And this is a proven fact to help the puppy's heart rate over a period of time as he grows, to help his immune system, to help a lot of things, you know, when it comes to the dog. You know, a lot of things that you're going to need as he gets adult, you know, as he turns to adult dog, you know. So if you, and, and you have to do this in between three and 16 days. When the puppy is 3 to 16 days, that's when this window is open. If it's not 3 to 16 days, you're just doing it to waste your time. 3 to 16 days, the, the neurological system of the puppies taking in uh, information. You know, taking in information. And when you do this, this stimulates the neurological system. You know, every time you, different direction you put them in, it, st it stimulates the neurological system. So when this puppy gets to be an adult dog, you know, the things that you did for this puppy at an age that he couldn't help himself really, you know, help him later on down the line. So if you want to look it up, you know, it's called the Biosensor Program. The Biosensor Program. Do this for all y'all dogs. And, you know, I'm wondering, you know, I'm wondering, can, can this study really affect genetics? Can you really tamper with genetics by doing this? Because, see, what I'm wondering is, if you do this to a dog that is genetically shy, how would that affect the dog? How would that affect the dog? You know, that's, that's a study that should be studied by the scientists as well. You know, how will biosensory affect a genetically shy dog? Would it help? You know, from what it, from what it sounds like, you know, and from what I researched and what I read, you know, when I spoke to a couple of people about it, you know, and like I said, man, big shots out to a provocative bully, you know, from putting me on certain things, putting me on certain things and telling me 
how to move with certain things. Shout out to you, provocative bully. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like, I wonder would this could this actually tamper with genetics if you, you know, if you do it right, the right way? Because if I do this the right way, can I turn a normally shy dog into a more openly, more willing to be touched, more free dog? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm gonna keep looking into it because it's, it's got me interested. And you know, uh, I, I need to charge y'all an extra thousand dollars on these puppies, these Malawi puppies, because they're going through the biosensor program. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna charge y'all an extra thousand dollars on this puppy, on these puppies. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, it, uh you know I'm just playing, man. You know I'm just playing for some of y'all get serious. You know what I'm saying? But, but I'm not gonna lie to you about this though. By me doing this in the future, I gotta add. I gotta add uh, some. You know, if you want your dog to go through the biosensor program, your puppy, you want to prepay for it and go through a biosensor program, then boom, it is what it is. Now nah, I ain't gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna have to do all the puppies. You know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't no necessarily guarantee that you gonna get that puppy when you put a down payment on it. You know, so I gotta have to do all the puppies. All the puppies the same way. You know, all of them do it the same way I'm doing it. Now. All of them get it. You know, at the end of the day, I want to put out good. Dogs, you know, no matter what kind, if I'm selling Shih Tzus or if I'm selling Collies, no matter what I'm selling, I'm going to put out good n nerve dogs that ain't nervous, you know what I'm saying, good dogs with great nerves. See, one thing, man, I got to straighten a few things out, you know what I'm saying, on uh, Bulldog-wise, when I get up here and I talk about Bo or I talk about, you know, something else, don't get it twisted, you know what I'm saying, everything went peaches and cream when it comes for uh, my dog program all throughout throughout thing, you know what I'm saying, throughout my life or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Everything wasn't peaches and cream, you know. I ain't gonna sit here and lie, all right. But one thing I did, I learned from. For one, I do not like to lose. Do not like to lose, you know what I'm saying. So <clears throat> I don't like to lose no money, and I don't like to lose no uh, period, all right. So don't like to lose. You know what I'm saying? So I make it a habit of trying to uh, make the best of what I can make it out of and, you know, come out on top of any situation. You know what I'm saying? All right. With that being said, you know, I don't talk shit about Sambo or Marino for nothing. It's one thing I don't like, man, is when a nigga talk trash about a dog or talk trash about a dog man and then you don't step up to the plate with your dog to show and prove what you can do or what you got with your dog. You know what I'm saying? All right. So when these folks get up here and talk about Sambo, and if you wasn't there when that happened, or you wasn't there when to see these dogs go do this and do that, then, you know, I can't respect your comment or I can't respect your view on that situation because you, you didn't see that. You know what I'm saying? I can respect your opinion. You know what I'm saying? But I can't respect a lie. Better yet. You know what I'm saying? I can't respect a lie. You know? And like I say, man, if you rely on the street reputation and y'all here talking trash about YouTubers, man, you better get it together. Because, like I say, PBK line, PBK line don't need a street reputation to, to keep keep the system going. To keep my, keep my money coming in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a street reputation. So you better watch what you say when you say what you say at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But what gets me is when, when Sam Bowles around, a lot of these folk had dogs. You know what I'm saying? But they weren't coming up. They weren't, You couldn't shit them to come up. You couldn't You couldn't find them. You couldn't peel them on Sam Bowles. And the ones you could peel on them, he peeled them the right way and made sure they didn't want to come back. You know what I'm saying? But 2022, we'll get on these boards, you know, and run it out of mouth, run it out of mouth like we know this, we know that. Like I say, man, I'm glad when back in them days, I seen this, I seen that, I, whatever, whatever, because I, you know, talk about it now. I damn sure ain't trying to live it now, you know what I'm saying? Damn sure ain't trying to live it now, but for the most part, it's a lot of dog men who not connected as they say, don't know the dog men that they say. They know of the dog men that they that they talk about, but they don't have personal relationships with these guys. You know what I'm saying? I talk to people all the time. They be like, damn, this dog man here, 
He ain't doing this out here. He ain't kicking no ass. He telling me he doing this. He telling me he doing that. Man, get the hell out of here, man. That motherfucker ain't did shit since damn. Boy, look here. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, Pelican B. Shut your mouth, man. But anyway, man, you know, you know, I ain't dropped nothing over the past few days because I did have a lot of videos to drop. You know, and I ain't real big fan on putting a video out and then deleting it. So I really watch my stuff before I put it out to make sure this is stuff that I want to put out first. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of deleted a couple of videos where I actually got them still in my, my storage. I don't delete things be, in case I have to use them. Certain things I don't delete in case I do have to use them in case certain people get out of pocket on certain things. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll go back and pull that video up when I was saying certain things that I didn't really want to say at first. You know? Sometimes you got to just chill. But then, sometimes when you just chill in this pit bull game, I learned. This pit bull game, uh, they don't like chill. You know, they like to be, be straight up forward. You know what I'm saying? They like to be straight up forward. And a lot of these dog men, they just screaming, talking. Like I say, you uh, you try to bring that damn other reputation up to me, you can kick rocks. I don't give a damn how many people you shot. I don't give a damn how many dope you sold. I don't give a damn how much money you got stacked up. I don't give a damn what your bank account look like. I don't give a damn how many dogs you got in the yard. I don't care what your kennel name is. Well, none of that shit don't matter. At the end of the damn day, when you come, you better come correct. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, none of that shit matter. You know, and a lot of guys have ego problems because they can't understand that none of that shit matter when you come to the dog game. You know what I'm saying? None of that shit matter. I don't really respect me to look at you like some kind of boss or something because you bossing in the, in the streets. That's why I say me folk, man. Them folk better understand. That them streets and them dogs kind of different. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Only thing tied them into is the money. You know, the money that the people purchasing the dog with. You know what I'm saying? Because a man, a dog man who put in that work, who, you know, who sit right with that dog, he don't give a damn about what you got going on in the street. You know what I'm saying? It's about what you got going on when you get in front of him at the end of the day. But let these dog man tell you, you know, let them tell you from, from their perspective, you know, it is what it is. That's why a lot of them was hating that I got back in the pit bulls. They wishing I stayed keeping the Miley Wilds because that would have shut me up. You know what I'm saying? They can be these top dog men around the area and all kind of shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But nah, uh-uh. One thing about it, you would have been all right. You would have shut your mouth about both. You know what I'm saying? You don't know shit about both. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? And like I told you before, anybody, you know what I'm saying? When you come at this bay, I'm, 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 I'm ready to get down in the mud however you want to get down. Period. You know? Don't have no street reputation, you know what I'm saying? Try to live off street reputation. And, and coming out of YouTube, I keep telling y'all boys, man. Keep telling you. Y'all boys, y'all boys, the way y'all survive, y'all need that street rep. So you best to stay in y'all lane. You better stay in y'all lane at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Because I ain't survived off a of street dollar in over 10 years. Over 10 years, I ain't survived off a of street dollar. So, whoop. Boy, I know that, that real meaning of back in the days when they say, uh, you, you want to go to war, you better have your money right. See, when you're in the streets and you're doing all that shit in the streets and surviving by the streets, you need the streets. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody shit you. You know what I'm saying? I know the streets like the back of my hand. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you're going to war in the streets, if you get down to a street war, your money going to get short. You can best believe that. Your money going down. Your money ain't going to go. Your money ain't going to ride the same. You know what I'm saying? Because... You can't get out there. You can't move. You can't do this. You can't ride with this. You can't do this. You can't be in this place no more. You can't do that. Your money go down to a standstill when you when you when you when you surviving off street reputation and street money. So be careful when you because everybody that do YouTube, you know what I'm saying, ain't come uh, or, or geeks or nerds or soft. You know what I'm saying. So you know. These guys do YouTube, that's their jobs, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the, way, they, that's the way they feed their families, you know? It ain't no YouTube channel. It's like YouTube has got every single thing on it, you know what I'm saying? From the, you want to build something to folks talking trash every day. You know, it is what it is. People survive how they got to survive. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And if you got a street reputation that you're trying to live by, you best not, you best not come up me. Stepping all kind of ways, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you now, at the end of the day, cause this is one of my this is one of my jobs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't working for no street money. All my money going 
come in whether no matter what I'm doing, my money gonna come in. The only way my money won't come in if I'm in jail or if I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I pray to the good Lord every day that I dodge either one of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't make moves to, to put myself in either one of them. You know? I make moves on a day-to-day -day basis to put myself in better places. You know? In better places. And I suggest anybody else to do that the same same thing too if you making moves that uh, put you in the wrong place. You know? I want y'all to ride with me on this one, man. You know what I'm saying? We going in. You know? We going in. And we going in. You know what I'm saying? For one, like I always say, I love my dogs. You know what I'm saying? My dogs represent me when it's time for them to represent me. And I'm going to represent them when somebody say something fucked up, some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's It is what it is. You got to get it how you got to get it. You know what I'm saying? Next video coming up, y'all check this out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go keep it all the way 100 with you. You know, because a lot of these people on these dog boards, man, uh, if you don't know them, you know, there's shit on you, you know what I'm saying? There's shit on you. And like I say, man, a lot of them folks, especially around my way, they, they was glad I started fucking with the Milo Wise. You know, because they thought I was out the pit bulls. As long as Pelican Bay out the pit bulls, we got a chance. Certain ones don't got a chance, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, what I'm doing today, I'm bringing the whole crew out, man. All, all, Not all the dogs. I'm bringing multiple dogs out, you know what I'm saying? We talking about dudes who get on Facebook ragging dudes, and we don't see nothing but time when it's time for them to sell some puppies. Only time we see a dog. Man, get the f out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. We want to see some dogs year-round when you ain't trying to sell nothing, man. Show us that you enjoy the dog. What you just trying to sell us? Yo, yo, what? You saying pass-me-downs. What you trying to do? That's pass-me-downs when you don't deal with the dog. You just breed the dogs and sell them off to people. People don't want that. <laughs> and that's what these boards, these, 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 these channels and all that stuff is doing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to just get on. Oh, uh. This man or that man, because they big kennels and that kennels. You got little kennels doing it too. You know what I'm saying? And some of them little kennels acting like they got accolades. They acting like they doing this. But, man, they ain't. They ain't. But like I said, man, let's get into the next video. All right, all right. We out here early this morning. I'm out here with Sabre 2000. She's pure Red Boy Jocko. She's coming down off some of the best Red Boy Jocko in the world. Some of the tightest yellow bread, some of the tightest Chavis Jocko and Burns dog. Letting her walk around. Got the freshly cut grass out here today. Show y'all what my training facility look like when I want to do wherever I want to train at. Got this football field, got this field. I need to do something on it. Let's go, girl. Then we got this field. We'll walk over to this one. Come. Plenty room to do my training at. Plenty training, tra plenty training space. Then we got another one on the other side over there. Other side of that building, there's another football field. Be hot, you know, be super hot out, so I gotta take her for an early morning walk. Red Boy Jocko. I don't really too much care to discuss the uh, pedigree right now because none of these are for sale. But I will tell you, this is pure. Pure yellow Chavis Jocko and burn stuff. Let her run out here in this fresh grass, freshly cut grass. But like I say, man, uh, I'm not selling any of these unless she just have a super enormous amount or something, you know, I might have to get rid of one or two. Well, tell you the truth, I'm not selling any of these. This is my own personal private stock. 
So, you know, it is what it is. That old Sabre 2000 run around for a few minutes. Good, it's nice and cool out here today. That heat be, that heat be scalding, so I gotta let her take a break while she got a chance. Take you there Back to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you 